doing some bass fishing here in Lake Ida in beautiful South Florida. Gorgeous first fish of the day and this fish actually came in on a live bait. We're using live shiners, I'll be honest, but uh, this is a really nice fish. I would say he's approximately probably four pounds and looks like a really healthy fish, really fat. Looks like he's been eating a lot and um, we were just free lining out the bait and he took this bait and ran with it and put up a great fight. He didn't really jump too much, but uh, he's a really nice fish and I think that's a good start to the day. So we're gonna catch some more fish and move to a new spot now. She got a fish. Woohoo! Nice fight. Whoa! All right, so I just hooked up on another fish. Um, I lost that last one and I kind of let threw my bait in the same position where I saw that last fish. This might be a really good fish, hold on. Um, so, yeah, so I just threw out the bait and then I saw my little float disappear, my uh, float on my line, and I just gave it a few seconds and then I just started to reel tight on the fish because I'm using a circle hook. So, I've got, let's see here, I've got a peacock bass, awesome. I've got to get the net. My <laughs> that's what was eating my baits um, and he didn't jump either so I knew that it wasn't a largemouth bass because largemouth bass usually like to jump and this is a nice fish right here awesome it's a pretty cloudy day here in South Florida um, we're sorry we're under a bridge so that's why I'm echoing and you can hear cars running abo above the bridge but today is just a really overcast day not too sunny and there's a lot of uh, showers just breezing by and we just caught this really nice fish. I can actually see the tail of my live shiner in his mouth. It's probably too dark, you can't see it. But you can see the tail sticking out in there. But gorgeous fish, really nice. The coloring on this one is awesome. All the little dots, the tail coloring is pretty. This is an awesome fish to catch, so much fun. nice little large mouth right here we're having a nice day on the water and we got a bunch of bites a lot of bites on live bait and also on my worm and I just failed to uh, actually hook the fish I'm not sure why but we had a lot of misses today so a lot of great hits but just didn't connect but we got this cute little large mouth right here I'll take it it's better than no fish and just guys stick around because in the last video I told you about the lure giveaway that I'm doing so stick around, I'm going to tell you who the official winner is. Hey guys, we're wrapping up today. Darcy's doing a couple more casts, and then she's going to tell you who won the uh, three lure giveaway. But uh, you guys have been asking about the boats, so I'll give you a quick boat update. Um, on this boat, this is on the Darcy's Island Shore here, which we kind of broke down the other day, but got it running. Um, my trolling battery was completely dead, broken, dead. So I got a new one from Walmart. It was like 80 bucks, so that was pretty good, deep cycle. And my engine somehow wouldn't start. The same thing happened to it when I was fishing with Captain Jack one day over in Jupiter, if you remember that video. Um, we were probably gonna start it. It was running fine, then it just stopped. So it, was, it seemed like some sort of connection issue. Um, so I cleaned up all the connections with a wire brush and seemed to be running perfect today, but uh, who knows with boats. So th that's the update. Oh, on the big boat, uh, I need a new, what they call a 3.3 long block, so um, it's going to be about 10 grand. Anyways, some sort of fish on here, it's stuck, uh, Darcy's playing around with it. Anyway, so I need a new block on that, it's going to be about 10 grand. Um, I guess they don't rebuild them, something about how they built. I'm going to get a bunch of comments now about how that's baloney. Well, you know, I spoke to uh, Tuppins, which is the most re reputable Yamaha service center around here. And that's what they said. And my regular guys, Ocean Outboards, which is also very, very reputable, been going for 10 years straight, no problems. That's what they said too. And I checked around. So, you know, I, I don't know what to tell you guys that uh, the way these four-stroke engines are built, save weight. They build them uh, almost disposable when you bl when you blow the block. So when you get water in it. So that's the story. And uh, we're right back with, as soon as Darcy gets done fooling around here. 
Hey guys, so I just caught this fish. Sorry you didn't get to see the fight, but it was a big ordeal. He got wrapped around a piling and I had to get him out and eventually landed the fish, thank God. So gorgeous little peacock right here. And I'm going to announce the winner of my three lure giveaway right now. The winner is Ultimate Fishing Addict. Congratulations, you won the whole set of lures that I showed in the previous video as well as an eight by 10. So please go ahead and message me on YouTube or you can send me an email at darsizzleoffshore at gmail.com. Congratulations to you, and I'm going to go ahead and release this fish. All right, wrapping up the day. We're obviously back at the dock, and um, it was a nice day other than it was really cloudy, a lot of like fast-moving showers moving through, and um, we were constantly getting wet. Caught a few fish, had a great time. And um, once again, congratulations to Ultimate Fishing Addict for winning the three lures giveaway. Um, so congratulations, catch some fish with them. And um, until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. Awesome. I've been trying to catch peacock bass in my backyard for a long time now and I just did it and um, I caught the peacock bass not on an artificial I was using some live bait um, the remaining live bait that I had in my live well sorry about that I gotta get a net and get them overboard um, get them on land I mean um, but yeah so I just caught a nice peacock it's probably like a two pounder and just hit my bait that I had in the water I'm so stoked right now I'm so happy Yeah! <laughs> awesome! This is a great way to end the day. I decided to go outside in the backyard and do some bass fishing. And um, I haven't had luck back here lately and tried during Hurricane Matthew. And um, just had luck today. So I'm pretty happy. Super cloudy day. I didn't think I would catch a, a, a peacock on a cloudy day. They like sun. But uh, it worked. Awesome. Let me just get this hook out. Awesome fish. Super gorgeous. He did one big jump, but I kind of caught him like close to the shore right here, so he didn't have much room to run. Uh, but still awesome fish. I've seen these fish, like a group of them, like five or six of them in the backyard forever now, and I'm like, I gotta catch them, I gotta catch them. So just caught a peacock bass in my backyard. Sweet. I am totally fishing with two rods right now. Sorry how this looks, but I just got a little micro bass, but it counts. And I got a live shiner out over here and just happened to be reeling this bait up to check it. And this little largemouth just like attacked my little, oh no, little peacock bass. Very cute. So there's like a whole like peacock bass thing going on in my backyard here. I didn't realize there's so many peacocks. So far, two peacocks, zero largemouth. So we should have just stayed home. Yeah, we just took the boat to Lake Ida and spent the whole day and caught like five fish and she been out here for two minutes and she caught two.